Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna rapid fire through a bunch of different Ableton Live shortcuts. I'm gonna be speaking in terms of the Mac, but you can obviously substitute Control for Command and Option for Alt if you're on Windows. All right, first let's start off with some view-based shortcuts. So it's Command Option B to show and hide the browser. Command Option O to show and hide the overview at the top. Now, if you look at the mixer section, you have Command Option I to hide the inputs and Command Option M to hide the mixer. And the detail panel at the bottom, you can show and hide with Command Option L. If you have a plugin window open, it's Command Option P to show and hide it. If you want to export your track, it's Command Shift R. And to show the info panel, it's Shift question mark. If you want to optimize the main view area to fill the full width and full height, just press H to fill the height and W to fill the width. To start recording, just press F9. You can capture MIDI notes even without hitting record. Let me play a little melody. Now press Shift Command C. And just like that, the MIDI notes are captured. To start playback, hit space. And then space again to stop. If you want to continue playing from where the last stop, press Shift and space. If you only want to play a selected region, select it first and then press Option Space. It'll automatically stop when it reaches the end of the selection area. To map a MIDI parameter, press Command M and then you can simply select the parameter you want and then move the MIDI controller to assign it. And similarly, you can press Command K to enter keyboard map mode. Then you can assign things to the keyboard. So for example, I can click on the metronome, press the one key. And now every time I press the one key, I can toggle the metronome. To delete the mapping, just open the browser and you can delete it over here. To search for an instrument, plugin, or sample, just press Command F, and then just type your query. So for example, let's type echo. And then to select it, just press the down arrow key, which allows you to browse up and down, and then press Enter to add it. When you have a clip selected, you can switch between the clip and its device by pressing Shift and Tab. There are several ways to change a value. You can use the mouse to scroll up and down. If you hold Shift while scrolling, it'll do finer control. You double click it to reset it to its original value, or you can press backspace to set it to original value. You can also type the value you want directly with the keyboard and then press enter. If you want to hot swap a device, just select it and then press Q. Then you can scroll up and down and pick different things to replace it with and then press enter. And now you have a new instrument loaded. And then press Q again to exit. If you don't have a MIDI controller, you can use your QWERTY keyboard to control MIDI instruments. To enable that mode, press M. Now you can use the keys between A and L as your white keys. And then correspondingly, you have the black keys like W and E, and you can play your instrument. To shift octaves up and down, press Z and X. And to change the velocity of the notes being played, you press C to reduce and V to increase. And then press M again if you wanna exit QWERTY keyboard MIDI mode. To zoom your arrangement in and out, just press minus and plus. You can also use your mouse with this little overview bar at the top by dragging it up and down and left and right. So the arrangement view comes with a built-in grid. If you want to reduce the size of the grid, you press Command 1, and to increase it, Command 2. Command 3 toggles between triplets and not triplets, and Command 4 will remove the grid snapping altogether. So this way you can freely drag without snapping to the grid. Alternatively, even if the grid is on while dragging, you can hold Command to make it smooth so it doesn't snap to the grid temporarily. If you want to loop a specific region, just select the region you want and then press Command L. And now if you hit play, it's going to loop that region. Press Command L again to remove loop. And if you want to change the loop marker with the keyboard, you can select it, then press left and right to move it, and then Command left and right to increase its size. And you can do Command up and down to double and halve its size. On a MIDI track, you can quickly create a MIDI clip by selecting a region and then pressing Shift Command M. To zoom into a specific section, just select it with the mouse and then press Z. To zoom back out, just keep pressing X. You can select the clip itself and then press Z to hone in on it. Ableton Live allows you to manipulate time. So for example, to insert time, select the region and press Command I. Then just type in how many bars and beats you want and it'll insert it in the middle. You can undo with Command Z. You can also cut time by selecting a region and doing Command Shift X and then Command Shift V to paste it. So it's similar to your cut and paste commands just with the Shift key added. You can also delete time by selecting a region and doing Shift Command Backspace or Delete. 
You can also duplicate time by doing shift command D after selecting a region. If you want to temporarily disable a clip, just select it and press the zero key. In this case, it won't play. You can bring it back by pressing zero again. You can of course do this for a whole slew of clips at the same time. You can manipulate a clip in a bunch of different ways. This works for both audio and MIDI clips. For example, we can duplicate a clip by pressing it and pressing Command D. You can also slice a clip. First, you select where you want to slice and you press Command E. Then you can separate the clip from where you sliced it. To reverse a clip, select it and press R. You can press R again to undo. You can also reverse just the selection. So you select the region and press R and it'll only flip that region there. So let's listen to that. You can also duplicate just the section by selecting it and pressing Command D. And you can repeat sections like that quickly to create very glitchy artifacts. If you're happy with your result, you can consolidate by selecting a region and pressing Command J. This will create a new clip by combining all the audio that was there. This works for MIDI clips as well as multiple tracks at the same time. So for example, if I had this here, I can reverse it. I can duplicate a section here. And if I wanted to consolidate these two, I can select the whole region and press Command J again. By default, the name of the clip is the name of the file that was loaded. If you want to rename a clip, just select it and press Command R. Then you can type a new name that makes more sense, like Glitch1, for example. If you want to make a copy of your clip, you can drag it with the mouse while holding Option. You can also stretch the clip. If you hold Shift and drag the edge, it'll actually squeeze it in and out. Next, let's talk about automation. To toggle automation, press A. When you're in automation mode, you can freely draw your automation curves here. To change what you're editing, you can just select on a property. For example, in this case, I've selected the cutoff frequency. There are several ways to modify the automation curve. You can either mouse around and drag the lines up and down. You can insert predefined shapes by selecting a region and then selecting the shape in the right click menu here. For example, a sine wave. You can also freehand draw them. If you press B, you enter the pencil mode and now you can freely draw your curves. If you hold command while moving the pencil, it'll freely draw it and remove the grid locking. If you want to add a curve to a straight line, just hold option while you mouse around and then you can stretch it in a curved fashion. If you want to clear the automation in a specific region, just select the region and press backspace. If you want to clear the entire automation for the track, press command and backspace. While you're in automation mode, all your standard duplicate, cut, copy, paste commands work, but they work on the automation and not the clips themselves. So for example, if I select a sine wave and press command D, it'll duplicate the automation. You can also do this for regions alone. And of course I can cut and paste specific automations. You can also skew and morph the automation. If you select a region, you'll notice these little dots appear in the corners. That allows you to mouse around and kind of drag in and out and stretch and bend and twist and even add these trapezoidal shapes here. Next, let's talk about clip view. So a lot of the same shortcuts apply. So you can still zoom in and out with minus and plus. You can zoom in and out by using this bar at the left here. And you can also zoom in and out with the bar at the bottom right here. If your notes are slightly off and you want to quantize them, you can just press command U. You can also do this on a per note basis by only selecting the ones you want and then pressing Command U. If you need further control for quantization, same thing, but hold Shift, so Shift Command U. And now you have different options here for what kind of grid, if you want to quantize the beginning and the end of the note, etc. Similarly to clips, you can disable specific notes by selecting them and pressing zero. This will make it so that those notes don't play anymore. To move notes around, select the ones you want to move and then just use your arrow keys on your keyboard. If you want to move up and down by octaves, hold shift while pressing up and down. You can also draw additional notes by pressing the B key to enter pencil mode again. And now you can just draw the notes you want. To change the size of the notes, just select them and drag from the right side. To copy notes, hold option while dragging. And if you want to change the velocity of the notes, select the notes and then hold command while dragging. You'll notice that the little velocity bars at the bottom move up and down. You can quickly duplicate notes by pressing Command D. This is a great way to create quick hi-hats or drum patterns in general. You can select the whole region you want to duplicate, which is expressed by this bar at the top here. And now you can just hold Command D to duplicate it, giving you a consistent hi-hat pattern. 
And similarly to dragging clips, if you drag a node, it'll snap to the grid. But if you start dragging and then start holding command, you'll get a smooth resolution that omits the grid. You can also change the length of the node by pressing on it, holding shift and then pressing the left and right arrows. To switch between arrangement view and session view, you just hit tab. In session view, a lot of the same shortcuts apply. So for example, you can insert a MIDI clip again by pressing shift command M. You can deactivate the clip with zero. You can insert a new scene with command I. And you can toggle the stop button with command E. To add a track, you press command T. And to add a MIDI track, you press shift command T. Alternatively, if you drag an asset like an instrument or an audio file, it'll automatically create the corresponding track. So if I drag a virtual instrument, it'll give me a new MIDI track. You can also create new return tracks by pressing command option T. You can duplicate entire tracks by selecting the track on the right here and then pressing command D. You can rename tracks by selecting a track and pressing command R and typing a new name. While you're renaming, you can press tab to switch and start renaming the other tracks automatically. This allows you to quickly rename a bunch of tracks in one go. And then press enter to confirm. If you want to group a bunch of tracks together, you select multiple tracks by holding command and clicking or shift and clicking and then pressing command G. You can of course click on the group and press command R to rename the group itself. If you want to ungroup your tracks, select the group and press shift command G. This also works for different effects and instruments. So if I select the chorus and the synth here, I can press command G, which will automatically create a new instrument rack for me. If you want to move a track up and down in its order, select the track and press command up and down. You can of course just drag it up and down as well. If you want to solo a track, select a track either directly or anywhere in its region and press S. If you want to toggle enabling or muting the first eight tracks, you can press the F1 through F8 keys on your keyboard. If you want to collapse a track, select it and press Q. And you can press option U to collapse all the tracks at the same time. All right, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. Let me know what your favorite shortcut is down in the comments below. Make sure to like and share this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel for further content like this. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next. Thank you.